All right, everyone, welcome. We're on to our third game of the day. There's Shoemakers versus Shoemaker versus Sisson. There's a girls' basketball game, and I'm joined with Mr. Ratto. He's gonna bring all of the action, as he says. Action. And I'm joined by star point guard. Are you all star? Is that correct? Honorable. Honorable, honorable all star. Yeah, we gotta, check the, we gotta check the voting on that. That's yeah. red. You should be an all star. That's a bunch of baloney. And next to him is Coach of the Year, Coach Bingham. He might hear him a couple times this game. <laughs> he might. Maybe he's doing some scouting for the girls' team, you know? Uh, Sue Anderson had just beat Lynn Woods in the previous game, so that is that was a great game. Let's match up for this one. Listen, hell of a game. Um, last game, I mean, wow, that was incredible. The atmosphere was nuts. Pat Tausier again in today, man. So I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited to see the basketball. This is a good basketball. And listen, it, it's good opportunity. You know, I think it's cool to have all the elementary schools competing against each other. Um, you know, you don't see this too often. The amount of schools that, that are in Lynn, this is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the support being shown to all, all, all the players out here, I mean, it's great to see. Now, you a Sue Anderson person? Where did you go to elementary school? Um, I went to Brick it, actually. Okay. Yeah. I went to Sue Anderson. That was... Actually, in fact, uh, the Shoemaker coach, she was my coach at Brick it when I was there. And she's still going strong. A jump ball. Now, I believe Great Shoemaker is in white, and the shark, is it Shoemaker Sharks, or is it? Now, Shoemaker is in blue. Okay, Sisson Shoemaker is in blue. White. Yeah. Sisson's in white, all right. Now, Shoemaker here is in a 2-2-3. Two, two, Let's see how that plays out this game. Now, Andy, what's a 2-3 zone that people don't know what that is? Now, a 2-3 zone is when you have two players at the top kind of prote like protecting the ball handler, and you have... Three people, one one in the paint, two on the wing, kind of protecting the paint. The whole point of a two-three zone is just you know force the other team to shoot, you know try to you know really hog the paint and make every shot di difficult. Now I've always thought two-three zone is that really to force them to shoot outside shots and not go on the inside. I mean, and kind of dare them. Really, the the whole point of a two-three is kind of like you know make them think, you know make them stand there, have to make a play, like not just be comfortable and yeah, just really make them think and work for a shot. Okay. I can't wait for that faculty basketball game. <laughs> I'm, I'm off. I haven't played the faculty game in years, man. I'm telling right now. Has he you, told you the story yet? You, you guys are going to get the uh, business. He's told me the story plenty of times. About me hitting the game-winning shot? Do you believe him? Game-winning shot. I mean, I can see it. I mean. You weren't here, but before you got here, before anyone was really here, Rato was putting up shots with the basketball earlier. I actually had a little hook shot just to pay homage to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yep. Pay homage. He didn't make it, but. No, I did make a hook shot eventually, though. After about like five tries, let's let's focus on the positives. Thank you, Seamus. <laughs> nice, nice. A steal there by Shoemaker. It's been great defense from both teams here. Assistant wow, gets nice. the ball back. Jump ball. I really like how you know both teams are diving to the basketball. You know, no regard for their body. This it's championship game. Got put put everything on the line. Um, what's it called? Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I think, I think it's going to be a really gritty team, you know, uh, a really great, uh, gritty game. Both teams are going to fight hard. That looks like a foul there. This might be a defensive game, Andy. I mean, both teams playing tough defensively. The legend coach Bingham in the house. <laughs> what's going there on over here? We what have happened? a mascot. Whoa. We have a mascot in here. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> I did not expect to have a mascot here. Where the? <laughs> I was not expecting that. Wow! There's a shark loose in the in the building. <laughs> so three to nothing here. Four to nothing now. Oh, number 44 heading herself in the face right there. Steal there. 
good hands right there, just trying to, you know, clog up those passing lanes. You always taught, correct me if I'm wrong, Andy, you know, you want to have long hands to clog up those lanes. Yeah, you always want to keep your hands out. You might get lucky, not even try to, but get a poke just because you have your hands out. Diana Barrios will join us in the second uh, latter part of the last three games Great on the production team. crew. Great steal by Great Antoine there. there. Jump ball. As halfway through this first quarter, and it's still 4 0. This is going to be a very, it seems like this is setting a very, setting up for a very defensive mindset of game. Now, I will say though, Shoemaker does have the advantage on height by a lot. It looks like it. And let me ask you a question. Like, doing like big games like this, how, um, how are nerves? Like, when do you finally get over, like, okay, I'm nervous. It's a playoff game, championship game. Is this a regular game? Do you ever get over that? Or is this, like, when do you, when, when you actually say, all right, this is a, just another game? I don't, I'm, if I'm being honest with you, the, the nervousness doesn't go away. But the, the thing that differentiates everyone is someone can be nervous, but they can also be ready, you know? So that, nerv that nervousness will be, be there for you. You're, you're still going to be ready to perform and do what you need to do. That's, that's a good point. Like a lot of times, even um, even the filming process, if it's a big shoot, you know, I'm probably nervous, but you know, you're so confident in your skills, you know, it it, it, it takes over. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you know, you put in a lot of hard work to get where you are, so you know, you just have to keep doing what you were doing before, no matter how nervous you are. Now, Shoemaker's running a stack right now. Let's see where they try to go with this. So what's a stack? Um, a stack, they line up. Uh, they'll usually have one player cut, uh, pop out. They're just looking to, con uh, to confuse the defense, get different options. All right. <laughs> Definitely. All right. Well, we got free throws up here now, Andy. I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of those this game. Is that at the free throw line is, I can't pronounce that last name, I apologize. Avery. But I don't, I, can't, I, am, I don't even want to attempt to pronounce that last name. I am bad with that. <laughs> so it's Avery, her Lily, Lumix. Okay. Lumix, let's go with that. Let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to yell at us in, uh, pretty soon. Well, we tried. <laughs> but listen, don't listen. Um, but nonetheless, um, the hard work and effort by her is, is noticed. Yeah. So that, that, that's the most important thing. And the lead is extended to a five-point lead as we're here five nothing now. And Luke Shoemaker with the lead. I've seen a couple games by Shoemaker this season. I think Lemieux is actually pronounced Lemieux. Lemieux. Is that like French or something? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should know my last name's French, so, I mean, right? Ah, yeah, Rato, I didn't realize your last name was French. Ratto is, is French. Can you speak any more French for us, Ratto? Hey, um, you know, listen, okay? <laughs> I can speak some French. Can you give us a little taste? Um, let's see, what, what can I give you guys? Um, ba -ba -ba. Bonjour. Je ma, bonjour, je m'appelle Nubi Ratto. I okay. Hello, my name is Dubu Ratto. There you go. Come on, man. I'm all that talented, man. There we go, Ratto. Don't put me on the spot here. Bilingual over here. A man of many talents. <laughs> he can record. He can record. He can dunk. He can speak multiple languages. What can't he do? Come on. And the number one Shaq fan in the world. What? Yeah, we can't forget about that. How many Shaq? How many Shaq videos have I shown you guys in class so far? <laughs> <laughs> I, sh I showed them a whole 15 minute Shaq video. <laughs> on Monday. Did, did he actually? Yes. <laughs> was it just his highlights or? <laughs> it was a 15 minute video basically just Shaq business. Oh. <laughs> All Shaq business. That there was, was a point to it. I didn't see the show guys of Shaq. There was actually a point to it. I thought he just pulled up Shaq highlights and was like, all right, let's watch these. We're actually going to watch the Shaq video on Monday. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> is that what he guys what he gave you guys for motivation Monday? Right. Yeah, I'm listening. It's actually a good video. If Shaq is watching this, he needs to reach out to Mr. Rattel. He needs to come down to Lintec for a day or something. Speaking of Shaq, happy birthday to Shaquille O'Neal. Um, his birthday was March 6th. And um, we gave out cupcakes to the sophomores in honor of his birthday. True story. This is a very delayed birthday. No, but I mean, it's the first time I've had a chance to say happy birthday to him publicly. Did you DM him or something saying, hey, happy I birthday? I DM'd him that multiple DM? times. What? I called him. <laughs> he called him. <laughs> that sent card, a couple messages. Did I do that in class? A couple I called him anybody? Yeah. You showed us, yeah. <laughs> had to buy the burner phone. <laughs> Six to nothing here. 353 left to go in the first. Great. It's been a very defensive game. Sisson passing the ball around, puts it up. I thought that was good ball rotation. They they had the ball right at the elbow. Maybe she could have gone in and, and drove a little more, but um, I thought overall it was good ball rotation. Maybe just one more pass. With the suffocating de defense that Shoemaker has, you know, there's not a lot Sisson can do, but. They're, I mean, they're doing what they need to do, moving around the ball, trying to find the gap, so. It looks like Shoemaker's really starting to take control here now. I agree. With this suffocating defense, Andy, it, I, I think it, uh, it, the offense has to think quicker. Yeah, I mean, they can't think. They have to react and make the right, right play, and I feel like that, that's going to be the test for them this game. Oh, off the backboard, but they get the rebound pass back into a double team. It's caught by Shoemaker. Pass to the top. That's the uh, mid-range jumper, no. The rebound and the putback, yes. 10-0 Shoemaker over Sisson. Great layup by LeVue right there. Just getting second chance opportunities. You're talking about the end of the first game. I'm sorry, the second game, second chance opportunities. Those are going to lead to easy second chance points and, uh, and, and easy buckets. Yeah, I mean, let's just hope and see here what uh, Sisson can do. See if they can have some heart and fight through it. This person looks so familiar. He was a leprechaun. Oh, he's um, uh, he works for the he's he works in government. I forgot. Uh, I but forgot he was a is. leprechaun, like. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. At, at um, it was like a, a at a Skills USA. Yeah, thing. the yeah. book drive. I'm like, it's a random yeah. leprechaun. It's divine over here. Divine the score tail. I thought she was gonna give me food. I thought I thought she was gonna me Cheetos. She gave me a fist pound. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. I mean, no, I'm okay. That's good. Tax. Yeah, I mean, I thought she was gonna you know give the press some food here. No rat to attacks today. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> you forgot about the rat. How could you forget about the rat to attacks? Didn't you invent that tax? I know, I did. I'm a, I was just what you were talking about at first. He's been lenient on the rat to attacks recently. Yeah. <laughs> you freshmen have made him soft. Oh, steal Great there steal. by number zero. Flora, uh, Fiona Dunn couldn't get it to fall, but Sisson's going to end up touching it last. It's out of bounds. I, you, but I really like the speed of this team, though. I mean, they're, they're really being aggressive, and yeah. their speed is really uh, unmatched, I think. I mean, that's what's really helped them out. They're, fit, they're physically b b bigger. They're outrunning them. I mean, overall, they're, they're just being the better, the better team right now. But let's see what Sisson does to adjust and see what they do here. Pass, to the, pass outside the three-point line. Dunn can get it. There. Dunn does come up with it. As but they forced a backcourt violation. Sophia Corella lost that one. That was some great defense there by Sisson. By Sisson. I mean, if Shoemaker's playing you like that, you need to do the exact same thing. You need to play just as hard on the other end. Make those baskets just as difficult as they're making them for you. Is this a 2-3 zone again, Andy? Yeah, another 2-3, but this is more of a higher 2-2-3 two, 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 zone. You know, usually that... Uh, that girl in the middle is usually a little bit more behind, but you know they have her a little bit more up. So there, it's an aggressive two-two-three zone. Is it normal? Like I should say normal. Um, like I feel like a two-three zone is more for like older students. I mean, I, to me, this is impressive for them to put two-three zone being so young. I mean, honestly, at a younger age, um, two-three zone is actually get like getting the concept of it is hard. But once in the game, once you get it, it's it's easier for them. You know, because it's easier oh, okay. to stick to one spot. No, you're because that that way they don't have a specific assignment. You know, a lot of even at my age, you know, you can get confused when you're down the floor. Oh, where's my assignment? Where's that? But for them, you know, they just have to run to their spot and cover that spot. Okay. 
Now I have another question as this quarter's over because I'm trying to educate myself. Because I, uh, I had Coach Wilson yell at me at the Madison Park game for not getting the defense right. So Coach Dennis Wilson, Madison Park. So Coach Wilson yelled at me, scored 10 and nothing here. He yelled at me and said, it was a 2-3 defense and I, I called it wrong. It was a 1-3-1. It was a 1-3-1? What is that? A 1-3-1, basically a 1-3-1, uh, the one at the top is basically um, on the ball, really p p p like pr pressuring the ball, making the ball handler's life a lot harder. And then those three in the, mi in the, in the middle are kind of, you know, like the help. If that if that guy at the top gets blown by, they're, they're there to basically play suffocating defense. And that guy in the back is there to just protect the paint and play safety, re really, so. Okay, so the safe, so the one at the back is just playing the safety. Yeah, and the one at the front is kind of playing, like, like cornerback or something. You know, he's, like, pressing up on on, on, on the ball, for, like, you know, suffocating the de defense. The whole point of a 1-3-1 one one is kind of, if you have one guy, you know, like that point guard, he's making life difficult. You put the 1-3-1. One you stop him, you eliminate other options on the wing, and then that, the only thing bad about it, one thing one is, if you get that ball into to the paint, it, it, it's hard to recover. You only have one guy down there. Right, right, okay. I saw that Madison Park was playing that, I think on you. Madison. Yeah, <laughs> on me, and uh, Worcester Tech as well. Okay, yep. Yeah, a lot, uh, uh, like a lot of teams did that with me and Gio this year, they, they would put, that one through one, or they would just run a bo uh, boxing one. And what's a boxing one? A boxing one, um, basically. I'm trying to learn here, players, I'm trying to learn here. Four players are playing a zone, right? And then that one player that's out the box, his whole job is to stay with one player. Whether that player is oh, okay. on the other side of the court or in in the corner away from everyone, your 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 whole job is just to stick with him, grab his shirt, make him mad, do everything to throw him off his game. The more you know. Did that work that night? Uh, no. <laughs> not, not even a little bit. <laughs> All right, Andy, you ready for second quarter action here? Assistant starts ready. off with the ball. Let's see if they can get something going. They're yet to score a basket. So we'll see if they can do anything. Yet to score a basket, but it's still early, 10 to 0. You know, they still have time to turn it around. Yes, they do. Plenty of time, but I think, you know, once you see the ball go in the hoop, it does a lot for your confidence. Yeah. You know. On both sides of the floor, you know, it, it overall just picks up the en 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 energy. Once Sisson gets that first bucket, I feel like their whole, en en their whole energy and momentum might change. You know what I'm curious? Is these referees, I wonder if they're going to be doing the whole game. Naturally, you get tired. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you may not call certain cards just because you're tired. And that's natural. Yeah. It's not criticism. So do you think near the end of this tournament, we may see a little, like they might let little <laughs> things go? I don't know. I'm just curious if they're going to do the whole game. I mean, maybe do the first. I'm just, I, I, let's see how this night goes. I'm just, <laughs> just one thing to watch. Rest. Yeah, only two rests. I mean, that's a lot. There's not much time in between. Yeah, there's only, there was only, what, like 10 minutes in between this and the last game? Oh, seven. I counted seven minutes. Seven minutes, wow. Sharks to inbound the ball here. Pass knocked down, I believe, by Sisson. Now, Shoemaker brought up the Shark, but he's not doing much. He's just standing there. If I was him, I'd be running around the whole court. <laughs> Do you think they should get the Shark in the stuff in the game? I mean, if it gets to that point, yeah, he might get a couple block shot, sh shots with his nose. <laughs> That game posted by a shark. <laughs> that that is the day they stop playing basketball. That is the day you retire. So let's see if they can get on the board here. Now, is it, what, what color is the white team? I mean, um, Sisson is white. white. They're Eagles. Okay. As they throw a turnover here, that two-three zone is really giving them tr trouble right now. So who has ten points right now? Right now, Shoemaker has ten Shoemaker, points. Shoemaker. Okay. And they've been playing smothering defense, which, to be fair, Sisson's defense really hasn't been that bad either. Their offense just, I can't get anything going. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean it's hard to get something going with, with Shoemaker's defense. They are everywhere on the floor. Great pass there. There it is. Nope. Wow. That was a great pass, though. Natalia Saad just ripping it away.
I think they got to be a little more aggressive going to the bucket. Um, they're doing a good job passing the ball, but just going to the bucket, I think just being a little more aggressive is going to be important. Foul, Foul there. there. I'm curious. Well, listen, I'm no baller. Yeah. But I feel like shooting on this side is more difficult because of the, the, the window and the yeah. sun in the way. That's a good question, honestly. When we played, uh, actually last season when uh, when I was playing here at, Mar at Marshall, we would always start the first half on this side, so the second half we can get that 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 side. So it really does affect you guys. Yeah. Okay. Well, about the reflection off the backboard, does that affect you or no? I mean, I mean, not really. I mean, you there, there's always going to be a reflection off, off, off the backboard, but on this side, I mean, you have just the glaring sun at you the entire time, so it can really mess with your head some sometimes. That's fair. And that's why I was missing all those shots before the game. Ref told the sun wasn't up. No, but no, it was. It was, was, actually, it was, it was cloudy. No, so it, I, I, it was I think that's why. Sunny. It, was, it was an extremely sunny m m morning today. Yeah, so I think that's why I was missing all those shots. Yeah. Now I get it. Now it's all coming together now. I mean, you can see the difference on the court. This whole side is... is yeah, it definitely gets a lot darker once you move on. That side is completely dark. Shout out to the DJ, man, bringing down the tunes over here. It's so nice to be able to go to the game and not have to worry about playing music or anything. I brought my speaker just in case. He was jamming music at 9 a.m. I, I was DJing the uh, eighth grade dance Oh, <laughs> oh uh, a couple rough. weeks ago. Man, and I was heckled. One, one, kid, one kid said, I want my money back. I'm like, oh, y'all yeah, ain't going to lie. I hurt my feelings, man. <laughs> <laughs> they think teachers uh, got no feelings. That hurt me a little bit. So I want my you, money back. What were you playing? I thought I was playing some good music. I played a little drill. This is the drill music I was playing was like a couple years ago. Uh, it wasn't recent. I don't know, man. You know, it, but that's when it hit me. I'm mean, yo, I'm not as cool as I think I am. Like, I'm not cool no more. Uh, Maybe they're not cool enough for you. Has he dabbed on you guys yet? <laughs> Mr. Ross said that's not true. Just wait till you walk in class and they just start dabbing. I, I, I did not pray for that time to come. The soon. dab? Yeah. I'll dab once in a while. <laughs> yeah, and even though no one does it anymore. Yeah, I'll dab once in a while. It's been, near, it's been nearly a decade. Oh, my God, it has. Wow. I think the last person I saw do it was Cam Newton. And that was like... Yeah, it was almost a, a decade, decade ago. Yeah, like <laughs> seven years ago. <laughs> it's been so long he's not in the league anymore. Yeah. Ooh, great pass there. Charlotte Cahill with the shot. And it goes in. It. That was Fiona. Oh no, I'm sorry. Nope. Yes, yeah, Charlie. Charlie, Charlie Cahill. Cahill. Ooh. Well, Sorry, I have a chance. I, I'm sorry. Anyway, I have a chance. I do want to shout out um some of the, the college um basketball tournament. They've been having some great ball. Um, yeah, the, the women's game right now in college is some of the best basketball you'll see on any level. Yeah, I mean. I've always grown up around, you know, watching college basketball because of my sister. She, she, she was a girl hooper, and I mean, girls basketball this season is just as entertaining as the men's bracket the, 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 this year. I mean, on both sides of the bracket for for women's and, and, and men, I mean, there's been a lot of shockers. Yeah, upsets. Miami had a good game yesterday. Boys, actually, and girls. Yeah. Both Miami teams. Man, uh -huh. you guys catch that Alabama game yesterday? Yes. That was wild. That, that was a hard bit right there. Good job passing out the double team there. I believe that one of the Alabama players, like a couple years ago, he like fainted on the court or something, and they thought he wouldn't be able to play basketball again. Oh, and he went to play at. Um, he's still playing, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not sure which team he's on. It I think been I want to say it's Alabama. No, or maybe no, no, no. he transferred. Yeah, he transferred. I think. I think it was either at Marquette or Kansas State. It was. One, it was either one of those. I mean, hey. G great for him. Because I remember a couple years ago, um, I remember, was it Paulo Bancaro who had the weird problem where he was, like, sweating so much that he was, like, he actively lose. losing weight during games? I did he hear lose. about that. He would lose seven pounds every, 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 every game from sweat. Which is crazy. He had to, like, have a special drink made. Yeah. I so mean, he wouldn't just, like, lose as much weight. I mean, I wonder, like, where that com comes from. As Rivera misses both free throws right there. That could have been big for the... For the, e for the Eagles right there to gain some momentum. She steps out of balance, but definitely could have been big. Those in that situation, you're down 12 nothing. You need to nail those free throws. Yeah, I mean, in that situation, I mean, not not a lot is going on for you. You just 
you, 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 you need to cut your break at some point. As Charlotte Cahill drives the lane again and, and gets, gets another ball. bucket. Four to nothing. You know how impressive it would be if they could, if um, Shoemaker's defense could pitch a shutout? Do you know how rare a shutout is in basketball? I have never personally seen, seen one. Exactly. It's like, wow. So it would be pretty impressive for them to shut him down. I think the closest one I've seen was, actually I played in it when we played um, Fellowship. Yes, that was, a, that, was, that, uh, was that was tough. Yeah. I was not there for that game. Yeah, I don't think you wanted to be there for that <laughs> one. I imagine a lot of yelling on the sideline. Well, you know what, I mean, like, like I said before, you know, this is a learning process. And ultimately, when you talk about these games, it really is about, this level is about learning how to play the game of basketball. Yeah. So ultimately, you know, you, you will have a champion, you will have a winner and a loser. But ultimately, it's about learning how to fundamentally play the game of basketball before you go into the middle high school level. Yeah. And just knowing about the game. I mean, obviously, you want to hold that trophy in your hands, but at the end of the day, it's about you know, learning the game of basketball, but not only basketball, but just learning things you can take from basketball on and off the court. Definitely. As it looks like Shoemaker will replace half, and it looks like Sisson replaced a couple. Shoemaker, or sorry, Sisson is at the free throw line right now again. Brandon Antoine's in the bu building. Oh, we gotta we, we gotta get Barney in a little bit. Yeah, we we're gonna have to. As Sisson again misses both free throws. Man, I mean you gotta feel for him a little bit. You need to see something go down. They need to show some type of some type of fight here. I mean, hey, they're they're fighting. It's just not right. going in their way right exactly. now. Exactly. Great defense there by Rivera. Great defense, yep. Now, Andy, do you know anyone playing right now or anyone going to be coming up in the next couple um, games after this? Actually, for shoemaker number one, Charlotte Cahill, she is uh, the daughter of my of a beloved t t teacher of mine, my eighth grade teacher. I'm still in contact with her today. She's a very nice woman. Cool, cool, excellent. And the coach for Shoemaker also, she coached me when I was in elementary school as well. Shout out to them. 16 and nothing, complete domination here on both sides, offensively and defensively. It's gonna be a jump ball. Jump ball. Aggressive play right there. I I was a tackle. Was that a jump ball or a fumble? Hey, no matter the score, score though, Sisson is still playing extremely hard, though. Absolutely, and that's what it's all about. I guess what that's what it's all about. Oh, to be young, to run across like that. <laughs> I mean, they do call you the Jet for a reason. You may be still able to run. Oh, run I, like I, I, listen, I'm still good for a run. It's just my endurance. It's the recovery. <laughs> I'm still good for a good run. Has Ratto challenged any of you guys to a race yet? Oh, oh, it was a legendary race the first day of Shaw. <laughs> Did you race him? Oh, no, I did not dare. <laughs> no, I, I, not I dare you didn't step up, up to the challenge of no. fighting the jet? I raised someone, then they ended up getting injured. <laughs> you or them? No, of course, them. Yeah. <laughs> How'd they get injured? Because <laughs> they pulled, a, they pulled a, a muscle or something. That's a true story. They pulled a muscle. I, I, I felt bad. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm this one for a student. <laughs> you just ruined that freshman's entire TV media experience. <laughs> oh, brother. No, he's a good kid, though. Good seals, a good sport about it. After he pulled his muscle. <laughs> did you sabotage him? Is that what he accused you of? <laughs> no, he's a tough kid. He did accuse the race of being rigged, though. Oh, did he? Hey, listen. I, I, I do not agree with him. I think that was a fair race. That was a fair race, okay? You do what it takes to win, period. Oh, would okay. you? did you hurt him? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, just... I might have got a little bit of a little start. <laughs> A little, little bit head start. How much is a little? I don't know. Like don't, 10 feet? I don't remember. I don't remember. Let's, let's really focus on the game. 16 to nothing here. <laughs> Second quarter, 130 left. Got to try to hit the opposite block on that one. He's wide open. Sisson puts it up. Oh. Almost. You can hear the crowd. They're waiting for something. As their defense is still... 
Ooh, ooh, reach in there, it looks like. Hey, you got you you have to love that about though. They put up a shot, they missed, but they didn't put their head down and they and they ran right back to on defense. Yep, just like you said, just don't put your head down, just get back up, go right, try and get the ball back. I do want to give a shout out to my mother. It's her birthday today. So Happy birthday listening. to Mama Reto. Yeah, Mama Reto. Happy birthday mm -hmm. to Miss Reto. Pass is looks like deflected out of bounds. I love I love for them to get a bucket here before halftime. They'd be good for their um, morale. Yeah. yeah. At this point, I don't, I don't think the assistant coach is coaching the win. I think he just wants them to have a good experience right now. There, we go. Steal. there we go. Fast break opportunity. Oh, great defense by Charlotte K here, though. Whose ball is it, though? And it looks like it will be Shoemaker's ball. Uh, that is great defense by both teams. Six seconds left to go. She puts it up, and it's uh, in. Great take away. That'll be the half. 18 nothing in an impressive first half for Shoemaker. Hey, listen, it's one of those halves where, you know, they've been dominating, but if you're assisting right now, you got to be able to just stay positive and don't focus on the score in the second half and just take it one possession at a time. Hey, Definitely. Assistant. They're going to keep fighting as the Shark is back out here, just coming into the middle well, See what he does with this. The Shark is going to do a halftime performance, it looks like. As they're watching the halftime show, enjoy the halftime show. We'll be back. All right, everyone, welcome back for the second half of Shoemaker Persistent. It's a girls basketball game. Great steal there by Antoine. We're here with a Andy Batista, Mr. Rato. Yeah, like I said before, you know, it's an 18 nothing. Uh, Sisson's having a tough time right now, but now it's no longer about the score. Now it's about getting a good possession every time and just getting better, improving within yourself. Yeah, and also having a little fun out there. You know, you know, you're you're, you're playing hard, so you need to have fun with it as well. Absolutely. I mean, look, look, can this be real for a moment? You know, this is such a cool thing because, you know, a couple years ago, you know what we were doing? Around this time? Sleeping during your class? We're trapped in our houses. Yeah. Okay. I mean. During COVID. Not too long ago. About two, what, two and a half years ago? Yeah. So, you know, appreciate the moment. Now, that's one thing, you know, I always say. You know, listen, this time, this was probably the peak of COVID three years ago. Yeah. This time. And, you know, for everyone to come in here and enjoy themselves. And one thing that COVID did, it forced everyone to go live. So we've gone live for games and we never stopped. So, um, Appreciate the moment. That's a good point, Andy. Just appreciate, enjoy the process of being good and becoming a better basketball player. Yeah, I mean, even just appreciating the fact that you're playing. You know, a lot of kids they don't have a they don't they don't have a tournament to play in after. So having this tournament for the whole city and all-star game, seeing so many people pour their energy and time into making sure these kids have a good experience. I mean, it's just great to see. You have to appreciate that. Definitely is, no matter what. Even when you lose, it's this tournament. Even when I played it, we didn't win, but it was still fun to play in. Yeah, ooh, that's... Shoemaker ball there. So 18 to nothing here. It's a Shoemaker and Sishin. Ooh, great steal there by Antoine. She's driving the lane. Oh, she lost the ball. Great defense, though. And it's going to be a jump ball. Possession now is going towards who? Sishin ball. Okay. That was a great defensive play, though. She read that perfectly. And yeah, takes another spill. She's taking a good number of spills here. Oh, ho, ho. She's putting her body on, on the line for her team. I don't think she was too happy with that call and kind of <laughs> bounced the ball aggressively to the referee. <laughs> Gotta love the emotion though. If that was the NBA, that'd be a technical. <laughs> a 
Sisson is still looking for their first basket of the game. As Shoemaker's defense has been really impressive, but you also got to give credit to, to Sisson. You know, they, they still haven't backed down no matter the score. They're still moving the ball, trying to find a way to score. Definitely. And they're still giving it their all. Credit to them. Their defense has been only holding them to 18 points through two and a half quarters. Absolutely. Is still, still great. It's just their offense couldn't get anything going so far, so hopefully they get something going here in the second half. Even the score, I mean, still, Sisson has forced a couple of great stops. Just like that, getting a nice steal, going yep. in transition. I feel like they definitely have some great chances to score to, to score here. Pass by Antoine is picked the steal off. Steal by Fiona Dunn as she drives the lane. Looks like she got fouled on the way up, and that'll be two. Good job right there, clogging up those pass lanes, intercepting the ball. And I, I thought it was Dorney after shooting. They're going to take out of bounds. Ooh, okay. Looks like it was a floor foul. Great defense by Sisson. Jump ball now. And it looks like it'll be Sisson's possession. Hey, Sisson has really turned it around. This is what, three, four stops in a row? They, 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 they can make something out of this. This car's going to erupt on this score. Oh, they're waiting for it. Great job holding on to the ball. Looks like that one kind of, the defense kind of forced her to throw something up there. Fiona Dunn with the drive. Great job getting back to that ball for Sisson. So we're up to 60 views right now. Million. That's more people than there are on the planet. 60 million? Billion? I said million. Oh, okay. Uh, no. I yeah, I thought I heard billion too. Well, I mean, listen, I wouldn't be out of the ordinary. Would it? No. Nah. But you would there's more than 60 billion people on Earth. Really? No. no. There's not? How many people are, are there on Earth? There's eight billion. There's eight billion. Eight billion on you Earth? You would need really? like yeah. eight times the amount of people. I didn't know that. The more you know. <laughs> There's only 8 billion people on Earth? I don't believe that. Yep. Only 8 billion? I mean, hey, That's look it up. That's a lot of people. We just hit 8, 8 million not too long ago. Yeah, ago. it was like last year or something. We hit 8 billion. I'm going to check this out right now. I don't believe you guys. We have a growing population. Come on, you don't trust Andy? No, I don't. Wow. How many people? <laughs> I mean, he's looking it up, but I already know the answer. Yeah, we already know the answer. Listen. Oh, you got your answer. You got your answer. <laughs> you got your answer. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. What was I'm the not, answer, Atta? I listen. I'm not concerned about. I'm concerned about just moving forward. As Sisson scores their first point here, All right. and let's see if that will light a fire, and let's see if that flame will continue to grow. I'm glad they're able to get on the scoreboard. They're working hard. They deserve it. They got on the scoreboard. Their hard work is pay pay paying off, and I mean now they get, they they have that pressure out the way of putting on something on board. Now I feel like they can just go out there and have some fun. Absolutely, definitely, that's definitely a good way to look at it. McKenna Roberts there, and it looks like it'll be Sisson's ball. Riley, oh wow, Parini bringing it up. Good job Lucy. though, splitting the defense initially. So Linwood girls and, and the Sue Anderson boys are the D1 champs. I mean, those are some great games. Definitely, those were the two games to start us off there. Now we're into the third. We're almost into the second half of this tournament. Well, it's division, I think the division one was the last two games, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, okay so it was division, I so think the first two were division three. two. I think Sue Anderson was Division 2, they said. Nah, I think they said Division 3. Oh, was it? Yeah. All right, then Division Yeah, division I'm pretty three, sure, then. yeah. It was Division 3, right? Some type of division. <laughs> yeah. So let's get to the newbie research team here. They're going to confirm this. Yep, so here we go. So it's 3-3, three, 2-2, three, two, two, and 1-1. One, one. All right. So the so last two games will be Division 1 according to the newbie research team. Well, those should be some really fun games then. Man, the, the Sharks, the boys' Sharks are coming in here, and they have their game faces on. They're just staring me down. No smiles whatsoever. 
Right. That's what I'm talking. Did you see that stare? Yeah, right. So <laughs> I mean, the they have their not, game faces the on. They are ready. Around. They sound like you guys on the bus, bro. Like no talking, just <laughs> stared me zone. down. I've never seen an athlete stare me down the way that player just stared me down for the Sharks. And if they they probably have, have the same rule as us, no talking, no fooling <laughs> around before for a game. But it's a rewarding rule because, I mean, if you guys win, then all the fun to you after. Right. Yeah, well, Azra Vera gets another one. I was so there. surprised when I hopped on that bus and it was just dead silence the entire ride. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think that's how it w w was the entire se season. I mean, Coach Bingham really em like emphasized that before games, you needed to lock in and know what our goal was and stuff. So that's yeah. valid. It's a good way of really getting that message across. Now, um, Andy, um, the rumor is you're coming out the podcast of your own, a basketball podcast. Um, in, a, in a couple weeks. I mean, that's the word around town. I don't want to say too much, but okay. Yo, that, you guys will definitely be seeing a lot more, more of me soon. All right, here we go. There we go. You heard it from Andy. Sisson picks the ball off. 40 seconds left to go in the quarter. Sisson's gonna put it off with the layup. Couldn't get it to fall. Shoemaker's gonna start pushing it down the court in a fast break transition. Feeling a done. Oh, Ooh, just almost barely. Almost took it coast to coast. Another coast to coast situation right there as Fiona. But she comes back and rips it away. I mean, she is really going up and down the floor this game. I mean, she really is. But they're just trading turnovers right now. As Rivera goes down the court. Puts it up. And she and gets that it. that is a layup for Rivera. 20 to 5. But Dunn inbounded the ball, it looks like. She's going to put it up now. Can't get it to fall. She's going to put it up. back up. No. Oh. Almost the buzzer beater. Couldn't get it. 20 to 5 to end the third quarter. Heading to the fourth. That's wow. It is March. So maybe we do see a crazy 15 point comeback here. Hey, listen, we seen them once. We seen them a couple times yesterday during March Madness. Why not? Hey, what happens in March stays in March. Listen, this is what it's all about. If you're a basketball, like I said before, if you're a basketball fan, I'm a basketball purist. I can't play ball for the life of me. But I'm a basketball purist. These next six weeks are the best time. You got high school playoffs. You got playoffs here, college playoffs, and then the NBA coming up in a, in a couple weeks. I mean, if you're a basketball fan like we are, I know we're basketball junkies. This is, I mean, this time of year is just basketball heaven. I mean, the state tournament just got done with, and actually the prep schools are still in the playoffs. They're having the na the national prep uh, tournament, so we actually have a couple teams playing in that here from Massachusetts. Oh, Brewster, the, the, what, what teams are playing? Brewster, Worcester Academy, uh, two great teams. Nice. Now, where did they play that tournament? At? Um, uh, that is, I forgot to call it. it it's a college around here. It, it was, it, I think it was, U, uh, I think it was UMass, but. Oh, okay. Definitely right. Check that. He, the let, let, let me know when you when you when you know some details about that. We'll let yeah. the viewers know too. Um, I know it already started, but I think it's still going 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 on as we speak. I do want to give a shout out. I just saw a sweater there to St. Mary's. Um, you know, St. Mary's is definitely part of the little community as the boys qualified and just came a little short in the finals, so but the girls did win the state championship. Hey, uh, what what is that? Three in a row. Or back to back for the girls. Yeah, I, the girls three in a row. Yeah, and then the boys. Wow. Honestly, I, I didn't even think they were gonna get that far. I, I, I'm honest with you. I did not think so e either. Definitely, the team isn't as strong as it was last year, but they still made it a long way. All right, so uh, great for them. Shout out to uh, the coach and the, and the players. And one by Fiona Dunn. That was a tough finish. All fired up right now. All ready to go. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. I want my championship ring. <laughs> She needs the trophy in her hand now. She I want that, that ring. Now. Give me the championship ring. She said, not later, now. As Ratto says, send me. Send me. Send me, coach. Send me. She was ready from the beginning. This game, she's been flying up and down the court. I can't count the amount of time she's gone coast to coast this game. She was ready halfway through the last game. She was ready last night. Speaking of um, rings, shout out to Coach Willie May. Willie May for bringing his championship rings to Boston. And I'm sorry, to, to Lynn Tech. You end up taking one of them home? 
No, no, I was, he, was, he was tackling me out there. <laughs> we thought you, for a second, we didn't see you for a bit. We thought you just dipped with the, with the Super Bowl 51 one. We were like, so oh, is he gone? He won the Celtic Championship ring from 2008 and then the Patriots in 2017 when they beat the Falcons. Now what, will, now, what was that? That was the fifth media expo that you held? That was the fifth total one, the second one. In a row? The second one, the North Shore, and then uh, we, did, we, we do on the South Shore as well. I mean, that was, I wasn't there to get to the, to the full experience, but that was a great experience. I mean, having all those people there speaking to us, showing kind of what their view of how it was to get to the point that they, they needed to get to. I mean, all of that, I mean, it was great. Next year, we'll have bigger names, we'll have more prizes. Listen, there's going to be a point where we're going to have Denzel Washington there. Denzel. We're going to have Denzel Washington. We're going to have all the biggest names. Diana just walked into the house. In the building. Diana's in the building. She was a little late because she was signing her autographs coming in here. Big famous superstar. Paparazzi is smuggling her. <laughs> the Shoemaker puts up a shot, couldn't get it. Sisson comes down with the rebound. And because she fell on her back, wow. they're going to call the travel. Come on. Now Antoine and Rivera are checking in for Sisson. Sisson and Shoemaker looks like they're going out. Diana. Ford is going. <laughs> so Diana uh, Barrios, who's actually part of our TV shop. She qualified for the Skills USA state competition wow. on Thursday for job demonstration. So she'll be going on to states, right? She'll be going to states competing, um, competing with the rest of the people. And I do want to give a shout out to our TV um, students who are competing. We swept the TV competition first, second, third, and swept the radio competition. Wow. First, second, and third. They must have a really good teacher. So when are we going to see a Ratso victory lap? No, listen, I'm not taking no victory lap. Those are, that's you guys right there. I'm just, I'm just in for the ride. I don't know. I feel like the teacher plays a pretty big part in it. So shout out to those kids. And uh, we want to we wanna defend our title. We want our state title, and we want to defend it. So Defending we'll, be we'll defend the land. Everyone deserves a victory oh, lap. You did. A foul, it looks, I believe, is that floor or will that be shooting? I think that's shooting. As Rivera that's is fighting right now. She is putting it all on the line right now. That's kind of what her. you love to see. I mean, you know, She's down what, by 16, 16, still leaving it all on the floor all. there. That's just props to her, man. And props to her keeping her composure, too. She's not getting frustrated. She's not showing her emotions. She's keeping it all together and still having a great time out there. That's what you love to see. It's up. She couldn't get the second one to fall. Made one, missed the other one. As there's another foul on Rivera there. And that ball will go out of bounds as I believe it'll be Shoemaker's ball. There from the for oh, right towards us over here. All right, Ratto getting in on the action. I wasn't here. ready for that. <laughs> See, what you don't know is that your game, your guys' game, he has a jersey on under what he's wearing. So, if like one of you guys gets injured, he just goes in for you guys. That's why ready. I'm serious, Andy. That's why I dress up in a, in a, um, a tracksuit most of the time. Suit. During the games, kind of like one day, Coach Bingham's gonna be like. We get in there, Ratto. Get in there, Ratto. We need you, Jet. <laughs> yeah. He's going to turn around and be like, Ratto, get in there. 
and the crowd will go crazy as Rivera with a nice layup. As the crowd goes crazy here Cuts with the down Rivera. to 13 with 4.10 left to go in the fourth. I tell you, I'm really happy for Sisson right now, getting some points on the board. They've been working hard. It's a matter of just not being able to, to finish, but I'm really happy for them right now. They're fighting and they're keeping their composure, and most importantly, they're still having fun, you know? Yep. Shout out to the, to the assistant coach, too. He's doing a great job of letting the girls know that, you know, they're still doing a good job. Absolutely. Good, shout out to him, too. He's fighting, they're slowly fighting their way back into this game. And he's still making it a fun experience for them. Yeah. You know, some coaches would just be livid right now, you know, screaming, yeah. yelling, but he's just, he's still keeping their morale high. And have you ever thought about doing some coaching for, like, elementary school or, like... Yeah, I mean... I, I mean, I, I, I would like to do that with younger, younger kids. Maybe not now, but, you know, in a couple of years as I mature a little bit more. Yep. I mean, I'm sure with you being on the basketball team, you'll probably mature into that a little bit too. Yeah. Maybe when you're a senior, you'll be coaching some like the freshman or JV teams. Have you ever done any coaching at like, um, with other little kids or anything? I mean, not like actually like coaching entire teams like in the season, but I've hopped in for a couple of games for like AAU, smaller okay. teams and stuff. It's really fun though. As our viewers have jumped a little bit, we're up to 78 million. 78 mi mi million, yeah. 20 mi million right now. Yeah. Oh, we're almost at them Super Bowl numbers. Yeah. No, we've gone, we've the gone Super Bowl way numbers. past yeah. those. That's not I true. thought Super Bowl was like 100 mil. I don't think they were. I don't think so. No. We have more views than the NBA Finals did. Yeah, that, 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 oh, that's that's yeah. besides the fact. I'm talking March. This is the real March Madness right here. <laughs> Nobody's tuning in to, to, to that. They're tuning in here. Red Toe, how fast did your uh, bracket bust? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. first, when Purdue lost, that's what got it for me. I lost. Yeah, I, I, my my bracket was lost after Purdue lost that game. But I still got UConn. UConn going. Um, that was actually my Final Four team. So. Okay, so you you got something. Yeah. Kansas State is really putting themselves on the map right now, especially um, I think his name is Marquise Noel. He is, he is a, he is a baller. Did they win it a couple years ago, Kansas State? Uh, I'm not sure. I might be thinking of a different team, but I thought they won it a couple years back. It, it might have just been Kansas. Yeah, I might be thinking of them. Whoa, she, she pulled up the parking lot. That was a pass. Oh. Yeah, that, yeah, that, was, that was, was a pass. A great pass. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was, that was like, you know, kind of like, a, <laughs> I was expecting her to drop back in the pocket a little bit. That was a pass, yeah. One come, that was a pass. So 120 left, 23 to 10. Uh, Shoemaker it looks like they will be no, winning we this no championship. Way. I'm correct, right? Shoemaker's. Yes, yeah, so the Shoemaker. The, the Shoemaker Sharks. Okay. Well, it's props to them too. They got a they got a mascot out here. You don't see that often. I've never seen a mascot up till I got to high school, and mm -hmm. they have one in elementary school. My my elementary school one didn't have one. My middle school didn't have one. I'm not sure. I just want to get a shout out to Lynn Tech because Lynn Tech's in the house today. They are. They're supporting hey, representing to, to, to today. We had Lynn Tech alumni like Coach Bingham and Tony Gallo. The girls' team was over here. I mean, we See, had a Brand, lot of representation. Brandon's here. You're today. here calling the game. I mean, Lynn Tech's in here hard. Shout out to them. Man. I can say Lynn Tech's the best. They would probably some, have some future of Lynn Tech students playing. Oh, definitely M many with the way Coach Bingham was recruiting earlier. <laughs> yeah, he did. He was doing some scouting during that Sue Anderson game. I think he has his. I think he has my replacement set over. Oh yeah, already. already. <laughs> give it, give it like five years. We'll see where he's at. So Diana's is going to join the uh, crew on camera next game. Shout out to her. She'll be filming. You know, Mr. Barasso will be back. You know, when Mr. Brosser approached us about doing these games, we just thought it was such a great idea. You know, uh, shout out to Mr. Hussey for just being right on board and Phil Terranzoni and, and uh, the whole crew, John Hoffman, just uh, just being 100% on board and just saying, what, you know, what you know, whatever we could do. Shout out to them for giving us every opportunity we can. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Oh, one-handed pass there. 
she darted that Holy in. Pass. Didn't even give her teammates some time to set up. She said, watch this. <laughs> Step back, launch. I think Tech might need, 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 need to put on some pads, play quarterback for them. She puts it up. Nope. 20 seconds left now. I assume they'll just run it out, right? They won't. Oh, I'm not sure. Or are they going to try and run up the score a little bit? They are still going to play lazy. 10 seconds left. Eight, seven. Should be getting one last shot here. Five, four. No, they will not. That'll be it. Shoemaker walks away with this one with the W. But Sisson put up a fight. They did not go down without swinging. Listen, hell of a game. I thought both teams played really hard. Like I said before, sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. I thought uh, Sisson, I want to give them a huge shot for being 10 points here in the second half. They to show a lot of heart, but just came a little short. And, you know, again, we're learning the game. That's why we're getting better. And at the end of the day, it's about getting better. And that's what both teams accomplished today. Shout out to both coaches. And congratulations to Shoemaker. And I believe that'll pretty much be it from us for this game. We will see you in the next one. Hi, Mom. <laughs>